Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stone Final Fantasy VI Advance. In the last episode, we made it to the Empire Continent, which is the southern continent, and we explored a few new towns, and we got a bunch of uh, those, like, auto-haste sandals. What are they called? The Hermes sandals, I think? Anyways, uh, we are now right about to go into the... Oh, God damn it! As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, we are right at the main center place of the Empire Continent, which is Vector. So let's head into this fucking place. Yeah, it's Vector, and it's all creepy and scary, and there's like a freaking out guy. What's up? Haven't seen you around here before. Why don't you go climb back down whatever hole you crawled out of? Okay, what a dick. Um, I think we're going to want to head over... Whoa, is this a house? Also, also, I think we can buy new stuff here. Is that... I'm not sure whether it's a sword or like a syringe. Is that a syringe? I guess let's check out and see what's what's going on here. No, it is a weapon shop, so let's see what we can buy here. Uh, whoops. We already got that. Oh, okay, so I guess it's all stuff we already have. Okay. Oh, wait, Venom. No, never mind. Fuck Venom Claws. I got something better. Okay, so let's bail from the weapon shop and let's head into what apparently is a house. This tiny little fucking thing. Wow. <laughs> Are you loyal to the Empire? No, fuck that. What? Yeah, I'm gonna attack by guards, but who cares? Because these guards are fucking pussies. Look at those losers. And we've got our auto haste, auto haste sandals, so we're gonna. Look at that, like two damage or something. I'm just gonna ruin these guys. I'm not even gonna waste time using special abilities. I'm just gonna attack these guys. They suck. And we got 24 XP and a potion, wow. Alright. Hmm, you just might be able to do it. Let's talk to this lady again. Young folks, please don't give up. And uh, that means that blue flash of light and that noise means that all of our HP and MP have been restored. So we actually have kind of a, a like a, a home base, if you will. <laughs> so uh, you can go outside the city and grind and stuff if you want. I'm not sure uh, if we're allowed to come back here once we progress further. Um, but, uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess let's check the, the, uh, armor shop just to make sure there's nothing, nothing new. And hopefully there, I guess not hopefully there isn't. It would be nice to get new armor, but yeah, it's all just the same shit. Okay, well, uh, we're going to, I guess, progress on in the game and see if we're able to come back and, uh, and heal there. Or, I guess, uh, we can just not do that depending on what happens <laughs> if we need to or not um, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go to whoa yeah I think we're supposed to talk to this yeah, this guy right here behind the boxes shh I'm a returner I've heard all about you okay good I'll distract the soldiers use this box to climb up onto the steel beams and sneak into the research facility okay are you ready sure why not fuck it all right <laughs> look at him he's going crazy <laughs> oh, must have had a few too many. <laughs> All right, so let's hop up here, and um, oh, I guess it auto it takes us. I was gonna say I, I want to go explore the rest of the town on top of these beams. We're gonna toss it all. Oh, jeez, gonna toss it all. You ever heard a drunk person say that before they throw up? Oh, gonna toss it all. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Okay, we're controlling him now, so we can haul ass. Um, alright, I guess, wait, is there a way up here? Is this even... Yeah, okay, so this is the only way. <laughs> uh, okay, and we're inside the Magitech factory. Very cool. So let's head down here. I don't want to go too fast, because I want to run into anything uh, crazy. Uh, so... Oh, wow, look at these guys. Oh, shit, we got back attack. That's no cool. That's no cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was going to say that's no fun and that's not cool. And uh, it combined to that's no cool. As you can tell, I am pretty fucking high right now. I just smoked, like, the last of my weed, like, right now. Like, literally the last. I have, like, literally none right now. So, you guys should be, uh, you should be, uh, what's the word? Uh, thankful, I guess, that, <laughs> that I, uh, chose to to smoke my last bowl for this. Why am I doing so little damage? Are these, like, super wolves or something? Look at that, like, 51? Like, what is, what's going on? What is with these super wolves? Is it because we got back attacked, or... I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna blitz these fucking guys. I'm quite confused right now. Raging Fist. Let's use Drill. Hopefully this, uh, Bell... Bell's a Q. 
not even. They should just call it dog. Fuck bells a Q. All right. So let's gain a level. Yay! And got some money. Okay. Um, I have no idea why we're doing so little damage, but uh, I guess we'll just continue on here. Um, so in the Magitech uh, armor factory or facility or whatever it's called. Whoa. Are these? I guess uh, we can't go that way. Proton armor and onion knight. Oh, I remember onion knights. That proton armor looks scary. Um, are we doing? No, we're still doing stupid damage. What is it? Because everybody has armor? Is that why? Is everybody just covered in armor? I don't know what's going on. Raging fist seems to do regular damage. It's like regular attacks don't do as much damage, but everything else is fine. What does this do? Okay, nothing. Oh, cool. What a cool guy. Let's, uh... Ah, eh, nah, fuck it. It's not. I was gonna use, like, thunder or something. Whoa, shit! Okay, I should, uh, finish this right now. Yeah, and heal up. Wow, okay. Actually, I guess this is a good, uh, a good chance to see if I can... Oh, so let's learn better. That's cool. And set a level. We contain the Bio Blaster. That's a, a weapon for Edgar, I'm pretty sure, but we don't really need to use it. Um, so I guess let's... I guess let's heal up right now. I got people with darkness, man. Okay, I'm gonna take a second and cure and heal everybody. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, go back and actually get out of here, um, and s go heal again, because, uh, if we can, that would be really nice. I don't think we're gonna be able to, honestly, because, uh, because that guy's, like, causing distraction or whatever, but maybe, I mean, maybe he'll just be throwing up, like, whoa, wait, shit, no, we're not supposed to go here, we're supposed to get back up onto the... Oh, no, wait, we are supposed to go here, what am I talking about? I'll just cut ahead and see if we can do this or not, because you guys don't want to see me walking. Okay, so I found out we totally cannot do that, so it looks like we're on our own, and we're gonna have to just tough this out, so I might actually do some running from a few battles, so I'm gonna run from these guys. Um, I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go, because it doesn't seem like... Oh, okay, I guess we go through... Wow, okay, I guess we go through these little pipe things. This is a weird fucking place. We got an ether, cool, alright. Can we go down... I don't even know what the hell is going on. Whoa! Okay, let's try this pipe. Wait, got it. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay, and we go on a conveyor belt. Interesting, alright. <laughs> and another chest. Yeah, there's a bunch of chests, and there's a bunch of, like, offshoots and stuff that you can explore, I guess. Just don't go crazy and get lost. Or, like, uh, end up in a ton of random battles. Okay, we can run from these guys. Okay, cool. Run, please. Just run faster. There we go. Come on, Sabin, you asshole. Oh, Sabin gets hit because he's super slow. Alright, I'm gonna try and run from a few... Whoa, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to run from a few battles, the ones that I can. Flame Tongue, what the fuck? That's gotta be someone's, like, weapon or something. Um, I think I'm gonna cut back when I figure out whose weapon it is. Okay, so it seems that Edgar, Locke, and Celeste can use it, so I think I'm gonna give it to Locke. I think I'm gonna replace the Moonring Blade and keep the Thief's Knife. Or maybe I'll replace the Thief's Knife. No, no, the Thief Knight has a ton of uh, evasion and magic evasion, so that's kind of cool. So it puts the Moonring Blade with the Flame Tongue, and the Flame Tongue is a sword that may cast fire upon striking an enemy, which is pretty cool. So that's, uh, I'm kind of glad we went down this little offshoot over here. So let's hop back on the thing. Can we do that? Can we get back? What the fuck is this place? What, how am I even supposed to get back then? Wow. Okay, so how the fuck am I supposed to get back over here now? I don't understand. Oh my god. What is even. Oh, do I have to like grab onto that hook? What the hell? Oh yeah, that is it. What the fuck is going on? Should I try this? Oh wait, we can go up here. Whoa. Okay, let's look for more items, I guess. What's over here? Whoa, what the fuck? I just can't. Wow. That was fun. So this is like a giant fucking puzzle. Bonanza. Um, but if I go over here, it's just gonna wait. Will that shoot me out over there? Or where will it? Where will it put me? Where even am I? What the? Hell? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's say I say fuck this place. Uh, let's. God damn it. Okay, let's go back through here, and then from here we want to go through this one. Oh, I guess I'll kill these guys for some experience. If we can check out the new flame tongue thing. Uh, 
Okay, did it, I don't know if it did that. Does it sometimes cast fire or something? Also, I think we're gonna heal uh, Sabin, because Sabin has been getting hit. They're picking on Sabin, I don't know why. Um, do we have thunder? No, we don't. What the fuck does Libra do? Alright, whatever. Whatever. We have... There's thunder. Alright, so that should uh, hopefully one-shot this. God damn, is that the attack that does a ton of damage? No, it isn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay, take that. Uh, please don't. Oh, this is probably the one that's a lot. Yeah, god damn it. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call. Uh, I also took the, the time to, uh, <laughs> um... Wait, how the fuck do we get... Oh, god damn it. We have to do it from the other side? God damn it, I'm stupid. Um, anyways, like I was saying, I took the time to, uh, to also heal up everybody and, uh, cure Lock of Darkness, so everybody's all good now. Uh, so we can go down the stairs, we can go down the conveyor belt, let's, let's go down the stairs for right now, just so we're not forced to go in any direction. Eh, there's a treasure chest, okay. Oh, wait, wow, it's up. Okay. Alright, I don't... Oh, wait, is that a... Can, oh, God damn this place. Okay, so I guess this place doesn't go anywhere, so let's head back up and go down the little conveyor belt to the right. Okay. Oh wait, you know what? Locke just learned fire, so um, I don't think Locke was able to, you know how the flame tongue weapon cast fire? I don't think he was, he was able to proc because uh, he didn't know fire yet, so let's, well, I'll show you guys the next battle and see what it does. Thunderblade, sweet! I'm sure that's the exact same thing as the fire blade dealy. So this time I think let's uh let's see if the person can actually use thunder. Um yeah, I guess thunder and strike an enemy. Okay. So let's see if uh I don't remember if Celeste can actually uh cast thunder. Yeah she does have thunder. Awesome. Okay cool. So we're gonna give it to Celeste then I think. Okay, so I equipped uh Celeste with the Thunder Blade and I also used a few potions and we got to a battle right before the chest of course. So uh, let's see if uh, these things actually work. Let's just hopefully should cast fire. Did that? Oh wait, there we go. Uh, I guess it didn't do it, or maybe it only procs sometimes. I don't know what's going on. People are getting hurt though, so I need to start uh, healing, I think. And we'll use a drill. And we'll try the attack one more time and see if stuff happens. And hopefully everybody's not dead from all these... Uh, Attack. So we got a Phoenix down, that's handy. There we go. That's cool. Okay, so it does just proc sometimes. That's really actually pretty fucking cool. Hopefully Celeste can get an attack in here and uh program 95. Oh, they're robot dogs. Whoa, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome. Dude, I'm so glad we just got these weapons. That was really cool. Um <laughs> and now Edgar knows cure. And Libra, who like I don't whatever. What, what's in here? Remedy, cool, alright. Oh, cool, whatever uh, Locke got affiliated, or not affiliated, <laughs> affiliated, afflicted with uh, last time, it's it's taken away when you get out of combat, so that's cool. Oh shit, we get taken over there, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Alright, uh, is there stuff up here? So let's try and go up here and see if there's anything cool. Hopefully there's like an item, but I'm not doing this for nothing. This is a secret area, no it's not. It's totally not a secret area. <laughs> uh, come on. There's gotta be something over here. Jesus, this is a big place. I really hope I don't get lost. Hopefully I can remember how I got here. There's a chest, okay, this better be worth it. A tent, okay, that's kinda good, I guess. Okay, so, uh, wait, does this go down? Okay, I guess we're going all the way back now. <laughs> uh, or actually, I guess let's go around in this way, and hopefully there's more items, and uh, we didn't just do all that just for the tent. Alrighty, let's head down to the left here. Oh, god damn, these battles. Okay, after running from that. <laughs> wow, it seems like there's like more battles on this level or something. And it's always five frickin' onion knights. It's always these five little fruit cakes. I like to self-destruct and fucking hit people and stuff. Just run! Run, fools, run! Why is Edgar so slow? Alrighty. Um, I guess let's go... Oh, there's a chest. 
Dragoon boots. <laughs> Sweet. All right, what does that shit do? Um, I guess it would be on body. I don't know. Or is that like a relic? Let me see. It's probably a relic, actually. Uh, so we got sandals. Let's see. If boots changes the attack command to jump. Whoa. What? Do we have a dragoon in our? I don't even. Is that even a thing? And why is nobody? Oh, I guess nobody's wearing the black belt because uh, we'll give that to somebody else. But I guess we'll just leave everybody with no dragon boots for now. That's pretty cool. You can get the jump thing now. I don't know what we're doing. Let's run up here. I think I've already forgotten how we got here. So this will be interesting. Is that a door? No, it's a random battle. Fucking onion knights. Okay, it is a door. Cool. Hey, a chest. Oh, it's this is the one over here. Cool. Golden shield. Awesome. Uh, let's give a golden shield to who really needs to be protected, I guess. Locke kind of needs to be protected. It kind of sucks. Oh, but he's double wielding, that's why. <laughs> um, I guess maybe Celeste, maybe? Yeah, fuck it, let's give it to Celeste, who cares? She gets a golden shield and a thunder blade, and it's pretty fucking cool. Alright, uh, so I'm satisfied with all the items we've gotten here. Uh, let's hopefully try and head back in the general direction. Oops, it was like over here. Where's the stairs? I think it was over here. God damn, what is with all these onion knights? All I've got on this level or this floor or whatever, all I've gotten into battles with are with the onion knights. And they just keep attacking and they like self destruct and stuff too. It's really annoying. Alright, I think we're actually back to the... The... where we... because we came down from this one on the left, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I think we're supposed to go on this conveyor belt here, the one where these, these Magitek uh, armor suits are going. Uh, so let's heal up real quick, just in case we get into some crazy shit. Because, uh, like, Locke and Celeste are low on health. Okay, let's go! And let's find out where we end up. <laughs> Hopefully I got all the uh, the good items on that on that level or floor or whatever. What? What do we see? What's going on? Oh, it's Kefka. That fucking clown. I'm a god. I'm all powerful. <laughs> I'll collect more espers. I'll extract their magic, and then then what? I'll revive the wearing triad. Wow, that sounds like a very non-threatening name. Like we could come up with something cooler. Whoa. What the fuck? I've already drained all your powers. You're useless to me now. <laughs> He's just like booting the Esper. You too, take a hike. Is that another Esper? Cool. They're like weird, crazy looking Espers. Get out of here, fools. Alright, so, uh, Kefka's a dick, as we already knew. <laughs> um, so I guess... Oh, I guess we just follow them down. Whoa, okay, cool. And we're in, like, the death fucking trash heap thing. Okay, so I'm assuming we just talk to them, and, uh... Yeah, let's talk to this dude first, actually. Okay, and I think this is, yep. Oh, it's Ifrit, who is a uh, very, actually, let's, let's select something, so uh, we're killing him and stuff. Um, whoops, uh, actually, it's Steel. Um, Ifrit is uh, in lots and lots of Final Fantasy games. He's obviously a fire. Oh, he has no items, that's silly. Let's use, uh, whoops, we should be spamming Runic with Celeste, actually. Uh, because Ifrit will use a lot of fire stuff. Uh, so basically what you want to do... Whoa, Drill does a lot of damage, holy shit. <laughs> basically what you want to do is uh, cure people up and stuff, which uh, we're going to be doing that right now. Just have Celeste spam Runic every turn. Uh, and keep using Drill and, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, you can use Blizzard too, that's pretty good. Uh, against, against fire, Ice is good against fire. But like I was saying, uh, Ifrit is in a lot of Final Fantasy games. He was a Guardian Force in 8, and he was in, uh, what, what were the 
Oh, there's Shiva. Anyways, uh, they like to reuse a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I, 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 but the first Final Fantasy game I played was 8, so I always refer to them as Guardian Forces or GFs and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, they're in a lot of different games. Anyways. Hmm. I can see why Ramu entrusted you with his power. Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, let's talk to this chick now. When they finish draining us of our powers, they dump us down here to die. We haven't much time left. Okay. So it is all we have to face, Ifrit. Gestal has captured many more of us. They're all here being drained of their powers. I, too, suffered my turn in one of the capsules. We, our Ramu, were siblings, each of us born with a different elemental power. If Ramu was telling us to give his strength, then he, we shall do the same. Sweet, so we get uh, the Ifrit and Shiva Magicites. Our friends are also running out of time. I'm sure they will lend you their strength as well. Sweet, so let's pick up our new Magicite. We got Ifrit Magicite, and we got Shiva Magicite. Sweet, so uh, I guess I'll uh, cut back when I decide who I'm giving them to. Okay, so I've decided to give Shiva to Edgar in place of Kieran. Uh, so Kieran and Kate Sith are going to be sitting out for right now, because you can only have one equipped. Uh, but Shiva gives uh, Blizzard Bazaar a Rasp, which apparently damages the target's MP and absorbs MP and all that kind of cool stuff, and he already knows Cure. But uh, anyways, so uh, Shiva is going to Edgar, and Ifrit is going to Sabin, so Shiva and Ifrit are going to the two brothers, which is kind of cool, because uh, Shiva and Ifrit are kind of like together, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but we replaced Kate Sith, and Ifrit will give us Fire, Fyra, and Drain. And also, at level up, you get plus one Strength, which is kind of the main reason I'm giving it to, uh, to Sabin, because I want Sabin to be a powerhouse, which he already kind of is. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, now that we've equipped those two, let's head into this door on the left here. And uh, let's actually end this episode off, because we just finished a boss battle, we just got two new Magicites, we are in the middle of the Magitech factory, and we're going to be going on to more crazy and cool stuff as we get deeper and deeper into the Empire. So I'll see you guys next episode. This is the Stone Del Pierce signing off.